Good afternoon. I hope you all had a great day. Let's not fool around and get right into the performance of the market today. To start it off, the market had a nice day, ending positive by 0.43% for the S&P 500, while the Dow ended positive by a small 0.11%. In the S&P 500, the biggest movers upward were Philips 66, moving upwards over 10%, and Valero Energy, posting a return of more than 8% today. In the deep red was Tyson Foods, being down almost 8%, and the airlines as a whole had a rough day. In the Dow, the biggest movers upward were ExxonMobil and Microsoft, while Raytheon and Caterpillar had the biggest move downwards. Taking a look at the sectors, we see that clearly oil and gas, with the addition of tech, led the upwards movement in the overall market, while telecommunications, industrials, and financials all ended up being in the red. Looking at this table provided by Morningstar, we see that the most amount of pressure in the market today is on mid-cap value stocks, averaging a downward movement of 0.39%, while all sizes of growth stocks posted a nice day. Now that we have a general sense of what happened in the market today, let's get right into the news. To start the morning, the market was in the red following the action of other world indexes. As we saw, the airlines were a large component to the downward movement, due to Warren Buffett saying over the weekend that Berkshire Hathaway had sold all of its positions in the airlines, citing that the airline business has changed in a very major way. China and the United States had tensions flaring again. This is due to Trump criticizing Beijing and demanding for answers about the origin of the virus and hinting at potential retaliation. In addition to this, investors are beginning to worry about a second wave of the coronavirus as the United States begins to reopen business. Investors are also patiently waiting for the grim economic data from various countries around the world, including the April jobs report that will be released this Friday. Right before the market opened, it was announced that J.Crew, a preppy fashion retailer, had filed for bankruptcy. This is the first major retailer to fall due to the horrific pandemic that has been violent on almost all parts of the economy. Other retailers such as Sears, JCPenney, and Neiman Marcus have all been rumored to go bankrupt, as well as they were among some of the most distressed companies, even before the outbreak occurred. The Treasury also announced that it anticipates another $677 billion of lending in the third quarter. In the first quarter, Total borrowing by the Treasury totaled $477 billion. Since March 1st, the national debt has increased by $1.5 trillion, a 6.4% increase to $24.9 trillion. On top of this, the budget deficit through the first six months of the fiscal year has totaled $744 billion, which puts it on pace to easily become the biggest deficit in United States history. Looking forward toward tomorrow, the United States and Britain trade talks begin. This is the first trade talk between the United States and Britain since Brexit, and it is believed that Britain is eager to strike a deal with the world's largest economy. Taking a look at earnings today, we start off with Realty Income Corp, ticker symbol O, which posted a double beat. Projected revenue was $405.4 million dollars, but actual revenue came in at $414.3 million. O has had a streak of 597 consecutive monthly dividend payments. Reality Income owns more than 6,400 single-tenant properties, which are primarily leased out to retail stores. This makes Realty Income one of the most watched reports this week. With Realty Income posting a beat in revenue, which grew by 16.9% on a year-over-year -year basis, Investors may see this as a good sign. However, the first quarter was nowhere near as grim as the second quarter. Next up, we have Skyworks Solutions, ticker symbol SWKS. Projected revenue came in at $765.69 million, but actual revenue came in at $766.1 million. Projected EPS was $1.33, and the actual EPS came in at $1.34. Beating both on revenue and EPS, however, only slightly. 
Skyworks Solutions experienced a decrease in growth of revenue by 5.5% and a decrease in EPS by 9.5%. Cirrus Logic, ticker symbol CRUS, had projected revenue of $262.58 million. However, actual revenue came in at $279.29 million. Projected EPS was at $0.49. Cents Natural EPS came in at $0.68. Cents. Cirrus Logic with another double beat. Note that revenue grew by 16.2% on a year-over-year -year basis. Lastly, we'll take a look at Texas Roadhouse, ticker symbol TXRH. Projected revenue was $684.7 million. However, actual revenue came in at $652.2 million. Projected EPS was $0.40. Cents but actual EPS came in at $0.23. Cents. Earnings dropped by 67.1% and revenue decreased by 5.5%. This is better than I thought, but the worst is still yet to come, as the first quarter wasn't as affected by the pandemic as the second quarter has been. That wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow.